Good morning everyone. Today I am going to cover a class on my day off. Today is supposed to be a complete day off and one of the instructors called in sick to three of her classes. I only decided to cover one even though I was available for all three and because I don't want to run myself down and I really want to take advantage of this day off. So I'm going to go teach in the city, then I'm going to go get my eyebrows waxed because look, they are absolutely horrendous. I'm going to go buy some dumplings and handmade noodles for lunch and dinner. When I get home, I do need to cook my meals because the chicken's going to go off. That's in the fridge defrosting. If I don't, I'm currently trying to organize a haircut because my hair is absolutely crazy. I've got two hairdressers who work in the same salon, one of the which isn't the owner, but the owner is away on a holiday. So I don't really want to text her because I don't want to interrupt her time off. So I've tried to ask this, this second hairdresser, Nicole. Nicole is unavailable today or tomorrow, um, which is the only time that I can go get a cut. So I'm asking her currently if, if I'm able to make an appointment for the owner to do my hair when she gets back on holiday through her. If that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just waiting on a reply now because, yeah, we tried to work out a time and it's just not going to happen. Just getting ready at the moment to go. And, yeah, let's go. Now I've got my eyebrows done and they've got a little bit of wax still in them, so hopefully that'll sweat off. But that's done. I'm now here at the gym. I'm about to teach in 15 minutes. And then after this, I'm going to go to Lush and buy some shower products and then going to go get some food. I'm excited for some dumplings. So, let's go. Cool. So, I am now home and class was good. It was 21 people, so that wasn't too bad for a cover. Then after class, I went to Lush and I bought myself a couple things. But I also bought my friend Matt some presents because it's his birthday coming up. But what I got for myself was the King of Skin Body Butter. And that stuff is amazing. So I got two of those because I've run out. I also bought myself the Dream Wash Shower Smoothie. So I'm going to give this a go and see how I go with this. And then I bought my friend Matt a present, a couple presents, and it's been wrapped up in this bag. It's really cute. So just, just the handles. They made a bag out of a napkin. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna buy a few more things to put in this bag because he has specifically requested chocolate. Then once I was done at Lush, I went over to a Chinese restaurant that I've been introduced to where they do handmade noodles and dumplings. So instead of getting my usual noodles, I got um, a beef stew with rice, which I don't have any footage or photos of, but I did also order some dumplings and these are the leftovers that I had. So they're dumplings. So these are pork and chive dumplings, steamed. FYI, steamed is always the way to go, better than fried. They sell them for $8 and you get 12 pieces. And these are huge, like, look at that. They're like the size of my finger. Yeah, so they're big. So there's nine, nine left, because I ate three. And after that, I decided to get some dessert, and I was walking past a Chinese shop, because obviously being in Chinatown, you're gonna walk past Asian grocery stores, and I found Hello, Ooh. and I found Hello Panda. So this is biscuits with chocolate flavored filling. Now those of you in America, we call these biscuits, whereas you guys call biscuits, you guys, we, Whereas we call biscuits scones. The, Amer the Australian equivalent of biscuits is a scone. Whereas for us, what we call a biscuit is more like a cookie, but a bit different than a cookie. But then I also bought Yan Yang. Now a lot of us Asian kids will definitely remember these from our childhood, as well as the Hello Panda. Usually the Yan Yang is in chocolate, but I decided to try the strawberry flavor. So let's try it now. As you can see, it's like a breadstick with icing or melted chocolate and you just dip it in see mm, strawberry chocolate well i should not be eating this especially because this week is the last week of our six week fitness challenge where we get a dexa scan so six weeks ago 
I got a DEXA scan done, and a DEXA scan basically is a full body composition scan. So it gives you your bone density, your weight, your height, your BMI, your muscle mass for each limb as well as full body, as well as the total body fat percentage, as well as the fat percentage for each limb, and also your resting metabolic rate. And for me, my resting metabolic rate was definitely higher than the average person, which is good because I'm a professional dancer and fitness professional. So that means that my metabolism is quite high and quite fast than the average person. But also I was at 14.8, 14, yeah, 14.8% body fat, which is quite low if you think about it. The only problem is I don't look 14.8% body fat because I've got all this extra skin from when I put on weight and when I lost a lot of weight really quickly. So I've just got a lot of excess skin. Unfortunately, it's permanent, so that means that any time I can really look like I've got 14.8% body fat is when I get skin surgery, and that won't be for quite a long time. I will be getting my end DEXA scan on Wednesday, Wednesday morning. So that'll be exciting. Uh, chances are I probably would have put on some body fat because of those two weeks where I just ate takeout because of the work situation thing, but Look, I'm back to I'm back to at least what I started today, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm back to what I started, so we'll see what happens. I ended up taking a nap. It was 20 minutes, so it was good because I set my alarm and it, I did wake up at the 20 minutes, but I kept falling back to sleep, so it was kind of those, one of those sessions. <laughs> then I just mucked around on YouTube and then I finally took my shower and I got to use my new Lush products and they were amazing. Oh my god. If you have sensitive skin like mine, give the king of skin a go because basically what my shower routine is, it's Raining Men, which is a honey-based body wash, which is really good for especially for people like me with sensitive skin and with eczema because the honey acts as a antiseptic but also as a really good protective agent. Dream Wash acts like a mask for the body per se. And then after I finished with Dream Washed, I used King of Skin. So King of Skin is shaped like a crown, just like a king should be. And it's got a cocoa butter base, so it's really, really nice on the skin. There's no soap, so you can use it in the shower or out of the shower. I like to use it in the shower. It acts as one, a hydrator, but two, as a protective barrier for the skin. And you will notice that when you use it in the shower, that the water will just start to roll off the body. Like you really don't have to even pat yourself down with a towel. That's how amazing and protective it is for the skin. So I am loving it at the moment because I haven't used it in a couple days because I ran out, which is why I bought some today. So my skin has suffered a little bit and it is amazing. I'm just going to be cooking my meal tonight, like for the rest of the week. So other than that, there's not much else that's gonna go on. So I think I'm just gonna finish it off here. It is like five to six, five, six o'clock, so. And that's the weather. It is spring for us down here in Sydney. Looks like there may be some rain tonight, if not tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's it for the day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you leave me some comments down below so I can talk to you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.